This is not a sponsored video. Now, hi, I'm Ken Coleman, and welcome to another unboxing. Now, I've been expecting Ghostbusters from some retailers, Gundams from others, Power Rangers, etc., etc. So, I'm not sure exactly what this may be. Feel a little bit of a rattle, but no boxes moving around. And by the dimensions of this box, I'm not really sure. So let's see. Right now I'm in the midst of building those little Lodo mobile suits from the previous unboxing. Little tiny ones and before I put finishing touches, before I even work on the torso and heads, I'm trying to find some matte acrylic glaze so that I can give them a nice finish with some detail. And before I try adding any of the stickers, because you don't want the glaze going on the sticker. So this is Ghostbusters. This is Dr. Egon Spengler from the real Ghostbusters. This is from the Hasbro Kenner series revival series where they recast or tried building almost exact replicas of the original run. And if you look at the tip of my stylus, there's Slimer, Stay Puff, Winston, and Ray. Right beside all those Funko Pops of the Ghostbusters <laughs> fan. So this one is Egon. And he comes with, is it Gulper Ghost? Thought it was Jumper, similar. I always felt that the character designer for real Ghostbusters and the character designer for the Kenner Toys design team. I don't know if it was the same people working on both products of this franchise. They were just incredible. Amazing ability and they were very unique the designs. And I love that in the IDW comic series, many of these characters, many of these monsters and ghosts are coming back. Whether it be as little tiny cameos, little Mickey's uh, Mickey Easter eggs. I think I remember some place where it might have been like a Floyd Godfrey comic. The Mickey ears were a Disney Easter egg. The Gulper Ghost is very translucent. It reminds me of my non. Ghostbusters, but just as to scale Gengar. And that's because it's so hollow. Here's the card box. The box is so much a replica that over here they just say the green ghost. Because it wasn't until real Ghostbusters became a big huge hit. And then they had Ghostbusters 2. That Slimer was Slimer. That Slimer had a name. That Spengler had the dry wit. He was one of the nerds of the show that I could closely relate to and to the point where I got red frame glasses in kindergarten just like this guy. So Proton Pack on the back. 
And both of these hands are in the same pose. I'll have to look up, see if Ramus was a righty or a lefty. See if the real Ghostbusters version was a righty or a lefty. Uh, see which hand this best fits in. I find it interesting that with Ray, there was a hand clearly sculpted to be held like this, and then you could easily fit the proton thrower in there. With Winston, the fist was angled. And with Egon, the hands are like this. So let's see. Now with the other side, there's a little bit too much obstruction from here and just the positioning of the arms. See how on this side the arm is a little bit more distant. All right, and let's try this out. Like the others, you spin this tip. And this is a classic Kenner design function for the wands. I feel like the plastic made for these Hasbro versions, it is much more flexible than the old style. So for better or worse, many of these limbs are very bendy, a little bendy. But aside from the proton equipment, they probably aren't as prone to breaking. So this is the gulper ghost. And that is a very wide mouth, very wide opening. And so gulper ghost can gulp be gone like that. Just right through. All signed. Because these ghosts, they um, aren't exactly the most tangible. So if you like this video, if you're a fan of Ghostbusters, if you have any recommendations, Ghostbusters, Gundam, I get into Disney comics. If you look at those Barks books and the Godfordsons, I geek out over a lot. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to get more videos. And have a good night. Bye.